Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your mouse to interact with a sprite without actually clicking on it. All right, sounds pretty neat, right? Okay, so here's an example from the Virtual Museum. So if I move my mouse over an arrow, it will actually change the color of the arrow and it will actually display some text on it, okay? So it does this for each one of the arrows in this particular project, including the lobby arrow. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to create in this video. All right, so I have a new project right here and I'm gonna make it so that when I hover over the scratch cat, it's going to change the cat into, could you guess? <gasps> yeah, a mouse, okay? So when I'm not touching Scratch Cat, it's a cat. When I am touching Scratch Cat, it's going to change the cat into a mouse. So let's take a look at the code for that. So I'm gonna say, when I press the green flag, we're going to forever check something. Okay, so we're gonna use a conditional block, if else. So if it's touching the mouse, it's going to turn it into a mouse. Otherwise, else, it's going to turn it into Scratch Cat. So we're going to use the switch costume. So we're gonna say, whoops, if it's, if it's touching the mouse, it'll turn into a mouse. Otherwise, we'll switch it to Scratch Cat, which I'm gonna name it Cat, just to make it very easy to know what it's switching to. Okay, so we run our, our code here and nothing happens, okay? The reason why is because we actually need to use a sensing block. And what's pretty cool is there is one that starts off with touching mouse pointer. So now when we, when we run this, it will actually switch to a mouse when we move our mouse over it like that, okay? So that's cool, but you could also do some stuff like, okay, when it's also touching the mouse, I want it to change the color effect by making a small number. If it's too big of a number, it'll get very flashy. And it'll just be like, ling, 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 and that could be bad, especially if you have ep epilepsy. Okay, so now when I do this, it's actually changing the color of the mouse a little bit. Okay, so it's gradually shifting the color. And we could say, all right, when it switches back to the cat, instead of making it a funny color, we're just gonna clear the graphic effects on our particular cat. Cool? So that's how you can make it so that you can interact with your sprites just by hovering your mouse over it and without actually having to click on your sprite. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.